I also want to especially thank those of you in the audience, uh, the members of the public, the experts and stakeholders who are present, and uh, members of the media who are here today. Uh, I really thank you all for carrying on to the show uh, and discuss the present issue. And that issue is, what we're bring us all here today to discuss is how to fix a system where the taxpayers one city can find themselves on the hook, holding the bag for the exorbitant pension costs set by the city council in another city. We're going to talk a little bit specifically about the example of the former police chief uh, in this city, Glendale. Uh, this gentleman worked in Simi Valley, Ventura, and uh, here in Glendale for a number of years at a fairly modest rate of pay. Expecting to pay those relatively modest pension costs, the city of Glendale planned accordingly. And uh, they calculate their upcoming liabilities and their projected future expenditures. Then the Bell City Council came along and set this gentleman's total compensation for roughly half a million dollars a year. Uh, this gentleman spent a year in Bell and is retiring. And uh, who now has to pay the half a million dollars in pension despite having no say in setting that salary? That's Glenn Bell City in the so they, or more accurately, the taxpayers here will pay 97% of the pension costs of this gentleman, despite never agreeing to the salary. This is one of the few examples where the city council in one city can set the expenses for a council in another. So you can imagine what this has done to the projections and future planning for Glendale City Manager. Uh, there have been several proposals on the table to ameliorate the situation, most recently uh, AB 192. Uh, 8192 was proposed would restore some certainty to the system, I think, by capping the amount that a previous employer city would be liable for. So the message to, to future cities like Bell would be clear. You know, you're free to pay exorbitant salaries, but you just can't saddle the taxpayers in their city with them. You have to bear those costs yourself. So I look forward to hearing from all the different stakeholders and experts today and to uh, ironing out all the wrinkles in the days and weeks ahead. So thanks again, everyone, for being here.